So getting ready to do a little maintenance on the deck, I'm just gonna clean it off with a good pressure wash or scrub and then seal it before winter hits our area. But before I do that, I have a bunch of large holes from knots. Now why I have this, because this deck's pretty new, it's only a couple years old, but my deck boards are about 24 foot in length. They're huge and they're dropped off on my house. So it's really hard to get a good board stretching the entire length. So what that means is I have a few pretty good sized knots like this one behind me that I'm going to fill before cleaning the deck and then sealing it. This is an overall very easy process and what I'm going to use is Bondo wood filler. There's a bunch of other wood fillers out there. If you guys have done this a ton in the past, jump down in the comments and let me know your favorite wood filler and then I'll condense everybody's feedback and pin a top comment that will tell you other recommended wood fillers so you can pick the right one for your project. But this is overall pretty quick and easy process. I like the Bondo because it sets up in about 15 minutes and then you can start sanding so it doesn't really stretch out your project. Now it only needs to be about 40 degrees Fahrenheit or higher and today for me it's about 60 degrees Fahrenheit and sunny so it is perfect for this project. Let's jump into it and we'll show you how easy it is to fill these knots. So the success of most projects leans on your prep work. So here what you want to do is use a sharp utility knife and you want to get rid of any loose or rotted wood. So I'm going to do one round, loosening up everything, getting to solid wood, and then I'll take a shop vac or like this Makita dust buster, vacuum it up, and then go back through, digging a little bit deeper just to get some of that rotted wood out of the bottom. And now we're ready. So I do recommend if you have many different knot holes to fill, just start off with a small batch because it's good to get that experience of how much Bondo to hardening agent to know how fast is it's gonna set up and then that's gonna just help you do one coat and get everything good to go before sanding. So here I'm just gonna mix up the Bondo itself a little bit and then I'll go ahead and take the hardening agent and add that. So you can either use a spreader like I have here, or if you just wanna use a inch and a half or two inch putty knife, that can also work well depending on the size of your knot holes. Now thoroughly mix the hardening agent, but remember, it's now starting to set up. It's now starting to get, it's now starting to harden. So this is your working time and something you need to be cautious of. So it's fully mixed and now I will use a putty knife opposed to the spreader to apply that to the knot hole. And I wanna to try to get it deep inside because this is actually a pretty deep knot hole but it doesn't go all the way through. Obviously if that was the case we'd be in trouble because the Bondo would wanna fall out the bottom end. Now you'll see it starting to harden up here and the speed of this video is 2x speed. So if you want to reference the time, just know it's actually twice as long when I was applying this. Now there you can see it's starting to harden up. So now it's not as easy to spread. And also I'm noticing, oh crap, it's starting to harden up. So I kind of expedite pushing the Bondo into the knot hole to make sure I can get as much coverage as possible. The nice thing here, after just a, really after it starts setting up we kind of scrape off the extra so any of this extra that you can scrape off is a good thing because that's going to lessen once it actually sets up after 15 or 20 minutes it's going to lessen the amount of sanding you need to do and if you're manually sanding this that's going to save you a ton of time so you can kind of scrape off the extra around the knot hole and then also sc scrape off the knot hole itself flush again just setting yourself up for a shorter sanding session. Again, you can sand this by hand. I'm using 80 grit sandpaper and that's the only one I'm gonna use, but an orbital sander like this is gonna make it much quicker and easier job. Now I'm not completely satisfied with the overall finish. It is a deck, it doesn't need to be perfect, but I have Bondo here, so I'm just gonna go back through and do a second coat. I have many other knot holes to fill, so I'm making up several other batches anyways. So I'll just fill in where I missed the first time and do the same thing I did where 
I can just start to scrape off any of that extra once it's starting to set up. Again, lessening the sanding time that's needed. So now we'll take a look at the before. Now this is once I cleaned it out so you can see how deep that overall knot hole was. And then here is your after. Again, not perfect, but much, much better than it was before. So that's all there is to filling knot holes in your deck. So for the first application you saw, it kind of caught me off guard how fast this stuff sets up. So depending on how much hardening agent you use, it could start to harden in as little as 60 to 120 seconds. And that's not gonna give you a lot of working time. So make small batches and adjust how much hardening agent you use to fit how many holes you're filling in. I did two passes on this one. Hopefully you'll just get it done in one for all your different knots. Now I only used 80 grit sandpaper. I didn't go 80 and then 120 or 150 to a finer grit sandpaper because it's just a deck, so I don't think it needs to be perfect. Now one other tip, if your knots are on the edge of the board, just use a little Gorilla Tape or duct tape, and then that will contour to the curve of the board, and then I just doubled back over the hole with the back side of duct tape, so the Bondo wouldn't try to stick, and you can easily remove the tape, and then your Bondo is contoured to the edge of the board. Let me know what you guys think. Have you done this type of project before? What is your go-to wood filler? Overall, the Bondo worked awesome. Now, if you wanna dive deeper into decks, specifically this one, this video right here will show you what I did to get this deck back into shape and how much it cost me so you might have an idea on your project. So thanks for sticking around and we'll catch you on that next video. Take care.